So I'm Kevin, and I'm gonna teach Amy how to take this average rifle, average hunting rifle, and push it out 1,255 yards. What apps do we have going on over here? Because the one that I chose, I've used I've uh, used Straylock and some of the other free ones that they have, that you can find on app stores, but I paid 30 bucks for applied ballistics because it just makes sense and I don't regret it for half a second. Good to know. Um, so just to go through it, we don't have all the numbers for the WSSM right, so we're, I'm just going to show you a couple things, how this is so easy and all the information that you need to input and it has to be correct, otherwise you, yeah, you're not going to get not the gonna right output. Yeah, you're not going to get your shot, exactly. Yeah. So I'm just gonna, this has a, um, a uh, gun library, you can add a new rifle, you put in your barrel twist, the direction, it's usually always right. Sight height, sight offset, your reticle. You can pick your reticle if you want. I usually don't mess up with that much. These are all the rifles that I have in here. Here's a couple of ones that I just made up. We're gonna choose the Savage Long Range Hunter, seven millimeter. Okay, and these are the different bullets that I shoot. Um, so we're gonna be putting in the cut in inch bullets. Already I'm in gonna there. put it after, yeah. Okay. I have targets loaded in already. I have a thousand yard target, a 1600 yard target. Uh, the 1255 is the one we're shooting today. Okay, awesome. And barometric pressure is one of the super important things besides muzzle velocity and wind um, when it takes um, to find your elevation that you're going to dial in. So what you can do with this, this app to make things way simple is you click that button up there and you can calculate distance by using your mill reticle. That's great. You can get your look angle by angling the phone. You can get wow. your target azimuth. You heard of Coriolis effect? No. Okay. So <laughs> today we're going to have to factor in the spin of the earth into oh, this, yeah, yeah, this shot, yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah. If this phone has a um, sensor in it to find barometric pressure, if you didn't, you can use station atmosphere, which would go through your data and find the, the closest weather insane. station around here and find what your barometric yeah. pressure is. So I'm just gonna hit atmosphere from device, sensors on. We're at 27.2 inches of mercury today. Pretty cool. So sea level is 29, 29.92. So today, and this, it's pretty standard out here, 27.2. The air is pretty thin today compared to normal. So yeah. this bullet's gonna go even easier. Then spin drift. It'll factor in spin drift That's by crazy. clicking that. So we obviously wanna factor in spin drift. Everything you, we can calculate in is gonna make a huge difference yeah, whether we hit the target or not. Absolutely. So, so it's got the twist, it's got my, my bullet length and my stability factor. So you crazy. can hit your trajectory. And then your 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 table shows up. Awesome. So for this bullet at 1255, we dial in um, 12 and a half mils. We will figure out wind later. And so now you get into your single shot. Okay. So after we inputted everything, now we have our single shot. So it's saying for a 1255 yards, a 10 mile an hour wind, mm -hmm. and it's three o'clock wind. Okay. That's wind coming from your three o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're gonna dial 12 and a half mils elevation. And you're gonna come right 2.2 mils. Okay. Once you have that range, it's easy. You yeah. have your muzzle velocity, you shoot the chronograph, you got it. Now it's like the rest of the day is just reading wind. Simple as that. Nailed it. Yeah. So this was the 223 that we were shooting earlier, chewing out the side of that target. Now with this rifle, we're gonna be shooting this. <laughs> it's a seven millimeter. I'm used to mags, like 40 mags. Just shoot all day. Never have to reload. All right, let's try this again. Ah, just circling that fucking center. God damn it, just walking it in, inch by inch. So one of the key components in shooting long range is to know your feet per second. And how we obtain the feet per second on any rifle is use a chronograph. What a chronograph does, it measures the point that the bullet enters heat, this beam and exits this beam. So in that amount of distance, it will determine how fast that bullet's going. So we can take that information, put it into our ballistics calculator, and it will automatically calculate our drop for the thousand yard shot. Oh, oh that's like styrofoam. Fuck, that was so close. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> I saw white dust. Was that, that was box? a hit. You started, Is it a hit? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you uh, you Fuck started yeah. talking when you when it went crack. Is that Do another one. Do another one. All right. Yep. Nope. Oh. 
What was that? Did you hear it? You was it? it? <laughs> <laughs> That's when yeah. you don't see, when you don't see a splash. Right. Listen. I was like, no. Yeah. You, you heard it though? Have, no, you have to wait for the sound. Yeah, it's it takes such three a long seconds. time. It takes over three seconds for that sound to get here. That's insane. I think this is right. mission accomplished. Right, Thank you. Go. So that is what happens when you take all of that data, you add it all up. This app helps significantly because if you guys saw, we had to change this constantly. The wind was changing constantly. To do all that math manually would take yeah. so long and the wind would be changed again by the time you do it, unless you're really good at it, which I would not be. So I would be using the app. Um, yeah. All of this put together. This is really great. I learned a lot today. Thank no. you so much. Um, and there you have it, long range rifle Thank shooting. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool, we're cut. When it comes to modifying guns, there's only one company and, of course, one man that I would trust. So I brought in Heron Butler. How do you feel the Glock 43 stands up against the other carry guns on the market right now? Well, all of them are excellent. To me, these are like the three primary little pocket carry 9mm, mm -hmm. and all of them are excellent guns. I wouldn't feel bad carrying any of these guns. Starting with the probably the shortest of them all is the car arms. Okay, we're done.